Hi everyone. Welcome to the session of base sets. So uh, we are going to cover today uh, reading data sets and subsetting data sets. So let's see. Now we have arithmetic operators. What are arithmetic operators? Arithmetic operators indicate that an arithmetic calculation is performed, right? And when we say arithmetic calculation, it could be your multiplication, addition, division, subtraction, or exponentiation. Exponentiation is nothing but the power. Like you want to create the power or you want to get the power of any uh, number, right? So these are uh, the various mathematical operators which you can use to perform some mathematical calculation. Now we have logical operators. Logical operators in all subjects are always same. That's AND, OR, OR NOT. But here in SAS environment, we have a different symbols. So uh, for AND, we will be using this AND. Then uh, OR, we have two pipeline operators. And then we have, you know, uh, exclamatory sign between them. And NOT, then we have these three things which you can write not right and at the place of these symbols you can use uh, your syntax like this as well all right so the symbol you use or or not depends on the operating environment so in unix you will have a different sign and in windows you will have a different sign so create a data set subset 2 from the sales that list only product line children or even numbered uh, for even numbered year and profit greater than $500. So you should get 63 observation. I mean, they have given uh, one exercise here. So we'll be doing that. Let me go to SAS environment so that we can you know perform the same task. So I have already opened a SAS session, this. All right, so what they want us to do, they want us, to create a data set subset 2 from sales okay so uh, I told you that in library SAS help we have a data set called OR sales right right now you, you cannot see that but let me show you proc print you might remember how to see it because I have already told you several times that how to use this proc print you need to give data so i'll give uh, the reference to the library then data set name that is or sales i'll terminate my statement and then i will write run so as soon as i will write this or i will run this you can see that i will get an output and that will uh, show the or sales data set now you might wonder that from the beginning till till now I have been using you know proc print statement and I have been getting the result into a separate window whereas I already have a window called output. Alright so this is what I have you know already added this option to see the output in this window but otherwise what you can do is you can go to tools then options you have preferences here then you have result tab and at the place of this create html you can uncheck this all right i have unchecked that and i am going to click ok so let's see how I'm going to get my results now. Okay, so it said that no output destination active. Right now, I was supposed to get output here, but I haven't got that yet. So for that, I will have to you know, change some settings. And next thing I will have to go back to the same options then preferences 
and I will have to say create listing. Listing is but uh, nothing but the output listing what I am going to get here. So if I run it now, you will see the result in output window like this. Alright, now the, the other window is not get, getting popped up. I am getting all the result in the, into the output window only. So let me go back to the exercise what it said create a subset data set subset to create a data set or a subset what you need to write is you can you need to write data then you need to give reference to a library so let's say I have a library called Satya here I will say Satya dot the subset this okay so this would be the name of new data set which I am going to create now how I want to create it so for that I will have to use input data set that I am getting from SAS help library and my data set would be OR sales right so I have already sh shown you that where this data set is OR sales now the condition they want us to put in that the only product line children for even number uh, for even numbered years okay so first of all let us put uh, only children uh, as a product line so you might have seen that in the output which we have got we have a column here product category or the product line basically they want us to put a filter on product line and only children so for that I'll go back to SAS environment editor window and I will write where product line is equal to children I'll copy the children here paste that into the children quotes and then I will say run all right my syntax is complete but before I run this program let me tell you that SAS is not a case sensitive environment so where uh, SAS reads Satya or SATYA or Satya all of them as a same character or same string but if you are specifying that into code then it would treat it as a case sensitive until unless you are not putting quotes in uh, around it it will not treat or it will not be case sensitive so if you want to check or validate particular value then you will have to validate uh, sorry put it into strings or uh, not strings I would say you will have to put it into single quotes so that SAS will you know understand that it has to be case sensitive now I'm going to run my query which I have already written here so let's see what I'm going to get now All right you can see that SAS subset got created now first of all before I see this data set I'll go and check my log window it's recommended for you as well that try to see the log window try to get familiar with log window as soon as you can be right because log window tells you each and everything that what is happening in the back end so here it says that data satya dot subset to set sas help dot or sales so where product line is equal to children run there were 176 observation read from data set sas help dot or sales uh, where product line is equal to children the data set satya dot subset 2 has 176 observation and 8 variables all right and it said that real time took this much and cpu time is this much so we have created a data set now there are two ways i can see the data set either i can double click on it it will open the data set for me wait a minute it is opening the data set for us here we go 
we have got all the records where product category or the product line is children all right i'll close this the other way of looking at the same data would be i use proc print and run so it has shown you the output for subset subset 2 uh, data set all right so that's all for today goodbye thank you